Irina, welcome. Thank you so much. To, uh, what is this, Casita 2.0? After following Nevada-based prefab home company Boxable for a few years now and creating tons of videos about the famous 375 square foot Casita model, I was absolutely over the moon when presented with the opportunity to see the home in person at the International Builders Show in Las Vegas. As a consumer and an investor, I couldn't wait to finally see and feel the product I've been absolutely enamored with since 2021. But though the small foldable Casita is already exciting enough, there was something even more incredible awaiting Boxable fans at IBS. Boxable Casita 2.0. Boxable is so much more than a tiny home company. They are first and foremost a building system that is set to be able to create tons of housing configurations and truly revolutionize the housing industry. I really hope you're seeing all this because it shows just what is possible with this technology. The Casita is really just the starting point, but the amount of configurations that you can create with these homes is phenomenal. In this video, we will take a tour of the new Boxable model home at IBS with Paolo Tiramani himself and discuss how Boxable's projected growth will impact customers and investors moving forward. Once I had all my gear ready to go and packed up, we headed over to the airport, printed our tickets, got a much needed late night caffeine fix, and boarded our plane. We arrived in Vegas at midnight, but the lack of sleep only served as extra fuel and excitement for the plans we had the following day. We are very excited because we are headed over to IBS 2023 at the Las Vegas Convention Center. IBS is the International Builders Show. It's a, quite a big deal and it's three days long and there's a ton of people in from various states to to check out all these different builders and to learn more about building innovations in 2023 and moving forward so we're very excited it makes a lot of sense that boxable will be here at this convention and they're actually presenting a new model that to my knowledge they haven't presented before it's completely new and they're going to be coming out with it at ibs this year so it's going to be very exciting to get to see that and film that for you guys and kind of take you behind the scenes on what the latest news is coming out of boxable drinks have been secured i got yeah, a paid for and huh paid for and paid for yeah well i would hope so and i got a sandwich Well, we got completely lost for a good 20 minutes there, but I think we're in the right place now. Okay, we are here, got my badge, Anton's got his badge, and we're ready to explore. After wandering around the convention center for a little bit and trying to find where the Boxable exhibit was, a fellow IBS attendee let us know that there was an app we could download that would show us an interactive map of the entire event. We were then able to find out the Boxable's booth was actually outside, so we hurriedly made our way towards the outdoor exhibits. Okay, right over there, we are gonna see the Boxable exhibit, finally. <laughs> <laughs> there they are. Oh my goodness, I feel really Okay, we're I feel so starstruck right now. Now hold your horses, or maybe I should say hold your unicorns. I know you want to see that gorgeous two-story boxable home we just caught a glimpse of, but before we do that, we've got to step foot in the 375 square foot casita. It truly felt like a surreal experience to be walking into a home that I've only ever seen in photos and videos before. I can't believe I've been talking about these homes for a year and a half, and I'm actually in one, and I'm like freaking out. <laughs> Though I will be giving the casita her own spotlight in a separate video where I will take you on a detailed tour of the Casita model located in front of Boxable Factory number one. That's not what this video is about. It seems like uh, you guys are trying to move away from that tiny home label and move more into the, you know, where we yeah. create prefab homes and we can create any type of home. Is that fair to say? Yeah. I mean, we don't mind. Yeah. We don't mind the tiny thing at all. Mm -hmm. But so uh, we're never a tiny company. It's a building, it's a building construction system. Mm -hmm. And we started with the smallest module and everybody loved it. And everybody said, oh, tiny company. And we said, sure, <laughs> that tiny works. company. Yeah. <laughs> um, and so now, you know, for our partners and investors in the general marketplace, uh, we put together this to show more of a building system. Yeah. And this is still made from the little 20 by 20. 
well, we'll have 20 by 40, which is basically the whole first floor of this. So 20 by 40 is a huge Oh, box. yeah. And so that you can make pretty much anything. You know, stand, connect, cantilever. You can make any, most building types most of the time, high quality, low cost, much lower cost, and really, really fast. To think that three Casita home modules could create such an amazing space is mind-blowing, not only because the model presented at IBS was so stunning, but also because this is only the start in terms of all the configurations Boxable can put together. But why listen to me? Let's take a Boxable 2.0 tour with Paolo. Irina, welcome. Thank you so much. To, uh, what is this, Casita 2.0? Yes. Or maybe, yeah. so what we're looking at is a three bed, two and a half bath, two story, home with the deck. It's only a thousand square feet, but we're going to take a tour. I want you to leave some breadcrumbs because it's so big, <laughs> you're probably going to get lost. So all the good things with the casita, you see with the nine and a half foot ceiling, the long sight lines, the eight foot tall uh, windows that are three foot wide, everything is full size, everything is oversized, and that makes us feel small in the space. And normally in life, you don't want to feel small. But when you're in your house, you want to feel small. Absolutely. Because you want to have a big old house that is going to protect you. So it's pretty cool. So this is uh, one of three spaces that we'll go through. Okay. The kitchen should be very familiar to us. Mm -hmm. It's the uh, it's the boxable kitchen. It looks exactly like that. Yeah, with the, with the eating yeah, counter. 100%. Yeah, 100 These, by the way, this is stuff from I can, we've gone to courts. Oh, very It's nice. really good. Okay. And contemporary cabinet faces and other things. Um, and with all things boxable, I don't know where the handle is. There it is. <laughs> you know, huge, oh, huge refrigerator. Okay. Which is nice. Full size everything. Mm -hmm. So, so we're very familiar with this breakfast bar. Mm -hmm. And then behind us here, we have the the living room. Mm -hmm. And over here, a giant TV. Okay. Because human. Oh, that is huge. Because yeah, funny that. <laughs> and a nice dining room table over here. And we replaced the bathroom with this guy. Mm -hmm. It's very sexy. Circular <laughs> stairs with this poor hole. And maybe can I ask you to check out the half? Yes. Go, go right on in. Okay. Oh, and very you nice. Right You've got like in. a yeah, pedestal look at that. sink. So. I fit very nicely in here. <laughs> <laughs> this is great. Yeah. This is awesome. So you don't want your stinky guests using your actual bathroom. <laughs> so, you know, have yeah. a half bath. And, uh, That's what half baths are for, for stinky okay. guests. <laughs> um, talking about stinky people, let's go and look at the children's quarters. Okay, sounds uh, good. Cute Very nice. little stinky it's boys. It's like a Jack and Jill situation. Yeah. Okay. yeah, so okay. Jack and Jill just means two doors, one bigger bathroom. Mm -hmm. It's perfect for kids. And so this boxable, uh, there's another bedroom on the other side we'll walk through. It's a mirror. This in the middle is what we call Wonder Wall, which the customer can put up or take down very quickly. So oh. if they put it up, they get two bedrooms, two walk-in closets, Jack and Jill. If they take it down, they've got some big open room for a master no suite. Wait, you're talking about this yeah, wall this here? Yeah, this whole It's not going to mess down. with the structure no, of the... No, don't need it. Just wow. decoration. And to stop them fighting. Yeah. Oh, yes. <laughs> makes a little, and it makes a little hallway. Okay. And so we don't put a door on this because it's recessed by the law, and this obviously is just nice stuff. Probably in production, this will be just full glass, you know, okay. we're constantly upgrading. Okay. And uh, yeah, come on through. You want to hop in? Yes. And we'll point out. So, okay, you're in the shower, and what you see is eight foot tall. It's outrageously tall shower. So even a tall person is going to feel great of in the course, shower. Yeah. And then this is a tri sliding door. Okay. Which is pretty cool. A you know? tri sliding door. Yeah, I don't know so if it's I've ever three seen. panels that are all are all coordinated with each other. Nah. So we just decorated this as a oh, classroom. Oh, I love it. Really sweet. Mm -hmm. And what we wanted to show off in here, even though that these are purposefully modest sized bedrooms, they're completely functional in terms of human factors and how you live. Big windows, lots of sun. And this is actually a full size queen bed. Okay. So if you've got a girl in here, I guess, what is it? Uh, Queen bed for your princesses. Oh, so, perfect. Right, yeah. I love it. Yeah. So if my mother's watching, mm -hmm. I can't go first. I gotta let okay. girls go first. So please. <laughs> Thank you so much. So just make, make my mom happy. Right. You might recognize this as two casita closets uh, that we have because everything we do is systemized yes. and modular. Right, okay, yes, I do nice. recognize that. Yeah. Okay. Massive king bed. Mm -hmm. And then if we maybe step back here, okay. yeah. we can see we can look at 
oh, another yeah. massive TV because this is how we're living, right? Mm -hmm. So big TVs are really inexpensive. I love the addition of the, so we plan. the, the fireplace. Yeah, so very romantic space, mm -hmm. right? So you watch TV, you got a nice fireplace, and this would normally have a cover on it, mm -hmm. and then you probably used to see in the sky here. Okay. And, uh, so very again, nice. two two same same shower mm -hmm. and. And the, the decal. <laughs> I love that. Because it's a show. And we do have to put that there because something happened the last time we didn't. No way. <laughs> yeah. With models like this, I, as soon as you know you post about something like this, people are always in the yeah. comments. Their first question is, "How do I get one?" Yeah. <laughs> so with these new configurations, obviously there's a huge waitlist demand for the like, yeah. casita. But with these homes, when can people expect to be able to order yeah. stuff like that? So I mean, as a business, we have to look at the total growth. Mm -hmm. So it's a little slow at the beginning, even though we're going so rapidly. So today we're focused on getting the production line of the casita down to. Uh, 20 minutes and then five minutes and then one minute all right and we've got uh, 170,000 to order backlog that's our first responsibility this the the product that comes after that comes faster and faster and faster because okay. the infrastructure is all built right and the factories and yeah all that. All and right, to okay. create this because it's a system you know we don't start from a clean sheet of paper we have 20, 30, and 40 foot building shells. Right. We have standards within that that we can configure. It didn't take long to, to develop this. So really, 85% of the development of the entire company forever, in terms of complexity, is already done. Mm -hmm. So to answer your question about this, I don't know, a couple of years. Yeah. Um, and they're gonna ask about price too. Of course. Yeah, well that's, that's the $150,000 question, isn't it? <laughs> okay, I see, I see what you did there. No, it's... And by uh, the way, mm -hmm. do not hold me to that. <laughs> but we're here to lower prices. So. It, you know, it, and when before I came here, uh, there was sort of, as consumers of the product, uh, you're always like, oh, you know, I wish I could get it faster, yeah. and I'm just so excited, and I think that's what a lot of people are feeling, but once I came out here, I looked at the factories, I looked at these homes, yeah. it became so clear in my mind that... Yeah what's going on here is so much bigger than anybody just kind of scrolling on their phone yeah. can imagine. So for yeah. people that are just looking at the pictures, looking at the videos, getting excited, their main question is, oh, well, how soon can, how I, can get I get it? One? But the solution, the problem, I should say, that you're solving here is so much bigger than that. And of course, you yeah. need time to, to allow that to happen. So Yeah, and it's the shortest path to get there because it's, the way to think about us is not, we're not growing one, two, three, four, we're going one, two, four, eight, sixteen, right. thirty-two. Exponential. The growth is exponential, so it feels slow at the beginning. But you see in the, the, the factory visit yeah. that it's just crazy what's going on. And uh, yeah, so you know, customer is numero uno, and investors are numero uno. We take that uh, as really a solemn responsibility, seriously, to um, uh, to make them happy and deliver. Otherwise, why are we here? What an incredible statement from Paolo and what an honor it was to show you guys the custom two-story boxable home here at the Builder Show. How do you feel after the interview with Paolo? I'm on cloud nine, man. I mean, he's first of all a legend, second of all a genius, and third, <laughs> just a really wonderful and kind person. He's very genuine. Uh, talking to him, I mean, it didn't even feel like an interview. It just felt like a conversation. We had a chance to cover a lot of topics. He answered all my questions. He was so generous with his time. Uh, which was amazing considering the exhibit is so busy there's people constantly like in the homes they were able to rope it off for a, a little bit for us to just do a tour with with paolo so i feel completely honored if you'd be interested in seeing my full 25 minute interview with paolo from start to finish definitely let me know in the comments below as mentioned earlier in the video i was able to check out both boxable factories during my time in vegas and i can't wait to cover that with you in another video don't forget to subscribe and click that little bell icon to come hang out with me again very very soon otherwise i will see you next week for a brand new video bye <laughs> all right we're out